There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Ugh. What's that stench? Entire camp. I doubt. They must have come here to Dell for scrap. Acid. That explains. Right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. Some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. A lot of supplies here. Machine cable. Stronger than I guess than they plan to stay a while. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool, or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. <laughs> there, a uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. Here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. What's this thing for? Well, good morning. I'm Oswald Dahlgaard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to oh. Far I might be able to get up there. I don't think I can reach that ladder from here. Us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have six light years. Wow, that works. That pole caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up.
Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Thanks. Humans, Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The Sirius system. There, we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is... Data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh... Well... Yes. Sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it... It never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia for a colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie.
these people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. This should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. The wilds have really grown over this place. some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. <laughs> Moving up. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. There's its patrol path. Gotta get closer and stay out of sight. Damn! Spotted! Damn!
down too. been meaning to mention I noticed you have a new look these days <laughs> yeah I know didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you don't worry it's not permanent Good. sorry my whiskers offend you anointed the Osram must have used explosives against the machines they managed to get a couple looks like there was a barricade here Machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow Dismantled yourself it. up. And got more supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. going on. You've been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? Well, they all have their secrets, but every place is different. That machine is so
a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. I'm getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. That looks like the way we came. Like we've got to climb up. We won't be going that way. Thousand years old. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Paul. We look alike because we're the exact same. Genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made. By a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup? is like a set of instructions. It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All-Mother Mountain. 
Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Borl. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? 